Hi, uh, today I'm going to go over the, uh, the scoring on the bead system and uh, I think it's a real good system because everybody in the pool room uh, or in your game room could see the score and it's uh, very visible and it's easy to use once you get used to it. Now I've moved the beads over closer so they can get into the, sc into the screen but let's say uh, on the open and break in a 14-1 match the player makes a legal break shot, drives two balls to the rail, but he scratches up in that corner pocket, so that's just minus one. What you would do is, to show minus one in the opening break, you just move that last point, the 50 point, over, over a little bit from, from the main body of beats. So you got minus one right there. Now, if he makes an illegal break, any opening and it's minus two you just move the 49th and the 50 point bead over so to show that he lost two points at the end of the rack so the rack continues and it ends up where you get up you make seven balls so you take seven points you take seven points and you move them over so you got seven he gets up he makes seven points. So the score at the end of the first rack was seven to seven. These points will add up to whatever's left on the table. So you got seven and seven is 14, and the one, the break ball is the 15th ball. But he owed two points down here. So you take two points off right there. So the score after the first rack is seven to five because you took two points off. Now, uh, okay, the next rack, you get up and you make five balls. Three, two is five. You put them right in the middle. You don't push them all the way over because this is your total score. So you got five right here. So if you look at this, you got five. There should be 10 balls left on the table because they have to add up to 15. So you could keep count of... Uh, of the points and you know that this is right because 5 here and, and 10 is 15. He gets up and let's say he makes his his 5 balls before he misses. So it's 5 to 5 in this rack which is 10 there should be 5 left. You get back up and you scratch or you take an intentional foul it doesn't matter whatever the shot is so you gotta lose a point. Now the way you lose a point is you would take a point off here, but then you move a point over because you had five balls this rack. So it still adds up five and five is 10 and the five on a table is 15. Now after the rack is over, okay, you make two more balls. He makes two more balls. Seven and seven is 14. One on the table is 15. You know the rack is correct. You slide them all over. That's your total. So it's 12 to 12. Next rack, the same thing. Let's say you run 10 balls. There's 10 balls. And then you miss. He gets up. He makes two balls. You get up and you foul. You scratch. You take one off. You move one over. You're still have 10 balls, he's got two, there should be three on the table. He gets back up, he makes his two more, four and 10 is 14, one on the table, the break ball. You move them all over. And that's how you do it, you just keep on going. Once you get to 50, you push them all over, and then the next rack will be like that, but it'll be 55 because you know you move them all the way over. That's the bead system. It's really easy. All you got to do is work with it a few times. You'll get used to it. And uh, I hope this helped you.